Greetings everyone and welcome to the Discovery Freelancer Roleplay Tutorial. My name is Syndromes aka the Spazzy Dragon and this video guide is my personal contribution to new players to Disco. Though, before I begin, let me quickly note three things. One, these videos are made within the thought that you already know what Freelancer is and have at least some knowledge of what roleplay is. Secondly, the videos are made for the official Discovery server, and since other servers might have modified game encounters, please refer to their own tutorials. And third, remember that these videos can be outdated, so leave the annotations on so at least I can try to correct which parts are out of date. So, with that in mind, let's just move on to the tutorial. First of all, you need a completely clean install of Freelancer, and I do mean clean. Do not in any case try to patch the game or install any additions like the global server workaround or something. They are already a part of the Discovery Mod install itself and if you do install them they might cause in-game errors. So the second thing you need is the mod itself. So Discovery Freelancer does not use third-party programs for installation such as the Discovery Mod Manager. The mod has an installation of its own and is available for download from our official forum. You can find the link in the video description by the way. And now that you have the Freelancer game installing and the mod downloading, just check out the rules section of the forum. To keep a safe roleplay environment for all players, Discovery uses a very strict set of in-game rules. Memorizing them might be hard for new players, but it all comes down to the simple rule of not behaving like a retard and respecting roleplay. If someone does breach the rules, the player may suffer a loss of access to the server, the loss of in-game money, or even the ban or deletion of their ships. So let's just move on to installing Discovery. Now first of all, a small reminder to Windows 7 Vista users, please run the installer as an admin, this will save you a lot of trouble. Here in the first part of the installer, all you need to do is specify the location of your freshly installed Freelancer folder. And after you do that, you just need to pick the installation path for the mod itself. But under no circumstances, you should try installing the mod in the same folder as your regular game though. The last section of the installer is a list of non-critical options. Currently the only one available to us is the blue mod. Well, all it does is just make the game a little bit visually more appealing. However, since many players do play Freelancer on low-end PCs, try installing the mod without it first. If you need it, just install it again. This completes the installation tutorial. If you have any questions, post them in the comments section or seek help in our forum. There are many members who can help you. This is Spazzy Dragon. See you in space.